What's up, everybody? It's Colby, aka Colbster, back here with another video, and I just want to go over Madden 23 quarterback rating and just like go over what I think uh, needs to be changed, what I think has been solid. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Patrick Mahomes, 99 once again, best quarterback. Don't think he's the best. I think Aaron Rodgers should be a 99, he's at the 98. Brady should be like a 96, um, 97. Josh Allen could go up a little bit to a 97, but he is owned by Patrick Mahomes. Um, and Mahomes, I don't think, has to be 99 every year. I think he can go down a little bit, especially after last year. Um, maybe like a 97. The only 99 I think should be Aaron Rodgers after winning MVP two years in a row, and I'm pretty sure he's a four-time MVP, so yes. And Lamar Jackson, man, 92, could go down. I think him and Herbert could switch bases because I, I like Justin Herbert more. Russell Wilson and Lamar are going to be the same. I think Wilson, it could be higher, but I feel like this is a good spot for him not knowing how productive he can be after seeing little from him last year because of the thumb. So you never know. Dak Prescott should go lower. Um, should be like an 86 just because of what he did in the playoffs. I don't believe he deserves almost a 90. Joe Burrow should be like 92. He's a good quarterback who can find wide receivers really fast. He's good. He's good in the pocket, but like if the pocket collapses, he won't run as much, but he'll get out of the pocket as fast as he can. He can still throw from there. Um, now... Matthew Stafford at 87, That's I feel like that is weird just because he's, he just won a Super Bowl. He has been such a great quarterback, and they put him at 87. Could be in the 90s. I think Lamar could fall the, like, the Stafford range, 87. Kyler, I like where Kyler's sitting at 86. Sean Watson, I haven't seen him play for one or two years. I think he could be like an 80. I'm not an 80, but like an 82. Don't know much about him. I've not seen him. He could be a Texans one we saw. He also could be a whole different player who's not productive. Anything could happen after sitting out for that long of a time. Uh, Derek Carr should be higher, um, I believe, just because uh, he's like, he just was amazing last year and without like any wide receiver help. Besides, like, Hunter Renfro and um, Darren Waller, he didn't really have anybody. And he had to carry that team that made the playoffs with absolutely almost no defense. It was just offense that they were relying on. So I think he could be higher. Ryan Tannehill should be lower. I tried trading him for, like, the entire fantasy season. Nobody wanted him. He was very, like, uh, he didn't get the yards he wanted probably I I know he didn't get the yards on um, that he usually does didn't throw as many touchdowns he was okay but he wasn't great Jalen Hurts like where he's sitting at 82 to 84 by the end of the year if he's productive probably an 86 87 if he's not probably down to a 74 76 if he does play poorly but I think he's in a good spot. Matt Ryan should go down to like 76. He's old. He didn't play great last year. He's not that great of a quarterback anymore. That's that's just quite no question. Kirk Cousins, I find very underrated. He's a very good player. Um, in my opinion, I'm not just saying that because he went to Michigan State. Um, I like I like the spot. I like 80. Could go higher maybe by the end of the year, but you know I I don't think he'll get any lower just because. I feel like with the wide receivers he has, he has the opportunity to be a Pro Bowl quarterback if he knows how to use the wide receivers and the receiving core he got well enough. And also you can throw to Dalvin Cook out of the backfield on any RPOs or wheel routes, whatever um, the running back's running. Mac Jones, like him, could be higher, maybe like an 84. He had a good year last year, made the Pro Bowl, um, hit the best gritty of the year. Oh, not really, but... Baker, mate, bro, you're putting Baker at a 78. I think Baker is like 74, 76 down there, like the Kenny Pickett range. Um, Yeah, also Jameis Winston at 76, no. 
74 ish. I think that's fine, but I don't really like that. For both of them, I just don't like Baker. I also don't like Jimmy Guapo. I used to, but then he just kept getting injured and stuff. Now Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence is good. Young quarterback, didn't play great last year, but still has time to develop. If he does great this year, he could be in the early 80s. Um, Yeah. Got Kenny Pickett. Obviously, it's good for rookie quarterback, but it's the highest rookie quarterback here at a 74. That's pretty low for the highest quarterback, but not a great draft class, so that, that might be why. Um, Tua took a Viola. I don't like how he's better than Jared Goff because I love Jared Goff, and he should be like 78 just because I think he's awesome. I think Fields is 72, a little bit down. Tua can be a 74. He can go up probably. Zach Wilson, 72, 71, around that range. Trey Lance, didn't see a lot from him last year, so you can't really go off anything. So you kind of keeping him around the same overall as he was last year. Malik Willis at a, at a 71. I like that. I think eventually, in like he, he's going to sit this year, but eventually next year probably he will replace Ryan Tannehill. Um, now Daniel Jones at 70 overall. That um, That's a good spot for him. Carson Wentz, finally, he's not like that 78, 77, 79. He's around their range. Um like quarterback, you can always like get for cheap. You can in Madden and franchise. You just you have a good teams and our quarterback way. You just bring in some cheap guy. Now you can't do that. He's a seventy. I like that. Um, he was always that quarterback where like, especially for my brother, like and me. My brother usually had all star quarterbacks. I usually focus on the defense, but I was like. If you have a good wide receiver core, you can probably bring anybody in. Carson Wentz is always that guy I brought in. I'm probably not going to do that anymore. Sam Donald could be around a 72, 74. I think he will get replaced midseason with Matt Corral because Matt Corral is really good. But um, in my opinion, he just has to come back from this injury stronger and better um, for his leg injury. And that was the top 30 quarterback in Madden 23. Um... And yeah, that was Colby, a.k.a. Colster, and I am out.